G'day YouTube, Bob M, the oxygen farmer here. Um, this is a Shed Wars 21 uh, video to give you an update on my uh, meat and uh, egg production in terms of quail. Um, if you've watched the earlier videos, you know that I hatched some um, quail uh, on uh, Christmas Eve. And these are the birds now, at three and a half weeks. Um, as you can see, they poop a lot. <laughs> um, anyway, these birds are three and a half weeks old. They um, uh, are in this cage for the next uh, four or five weeks um, as they reach maturity. Quails have a fairly short um, lifespan, a couple of years they say. Um, my goal is to have um, 24 hens and 6 roosters in the 6 uh, cages um, giving me eggs and meat. Um, well, they'll give me, give me eggs which I will then hatch to um, grow to maturity for meat. Um, but my goal at the moment is just to build up my stocks for um, having uh, enough egg layers. Uh, in terms of a tip, uh, if before you move your quail out into a case like this, you need to make sure that the weather is warm enough um, because they're far more sensitive than chickens and um, they need the extra bit of heat. But we've had temperatures in the 30s uh, recently and uh, they have, these ones have been off heat for um, seven, maybe ten days now. So they're... Um, well acclimatised and looking after their own uh, heating needs. Now, um, I got a large number of these white birds. I'm not sure w whether they're going to be um, uh, predominantly male or female. Uh, I'm hoping that I get to about a 50% uh, uh, ratio. Uh, and as you can see, they're very curious. They come up to the camera to have a look. Um, and they look around for insects and other things that um, are going on in the world. Because as much as they are happy with their feed, um, which is my main tip, um, the feed that you can see there is um, Game Bird Starter. Um, sometimes sold as meat bird starter and um, technically they can stay on that until you harvest them. Anyway, stay safe everyone um, and uh, like, share, subscribe and subscription is free, no cost.